Christmas is almost here. It's this Thursday. I can't believe it. I seriously have so much left to do, but it's a lot of fun. I hope that you've joined in on all these craft videos and made some of these things because they're great gifts for people. And I'm so happy to have you as an audience and you watching today because today we're going to make a great gift as well. You only need a few things to make this project. You will especially need the My Image Button Maker, which is a Choose Friendship product. You can purchase it at the link below. This is a great product because you can make image buttons and image magnets out of this. Super fun and easy, and that's what this is usually for. But today we are going to use this little hole punch right here and make our circles for our mobile, and it's going to look really cool. If you want to put your own images or own quotes on it, all you have to do is go to this link below, which is our app called the My photo sizer app you can go straight to that you can download all of your images on there and then it'll come out in a circular format and then you can actually print it at Walgreens or Rite Aid or you can print it from home on 4x6 glossy paper and they look super beautiful and today we're just gonna use some white paper for this so um, what I did is I want to do like a snowflake looking theme. You could also cut out a bunch of snowflakes, but for this I just wanted circles. So I'm using white paper. You will need a wooden circle just like this one. You'll need a hole punch with the small hole punches in it. You'll need some scissors and you'll need some of this string. Now this string isn't the only type of string that you can use, but you can use a bunch of different types. I just wanted it to be an all white theme, so I'm using this really thin um, string that I like the best for it, but you can use yarn or anything that you like. Okay, so your first step is to cut a bunch of your string, and basically what I'm doing with mine is I'm kind of guesstimating what I want it to be, but I'm going to cut about 15 pieces that are arm's length across, and then I'm going to use those for the outer ring of my mobile, and then I'm going to cut some in half and some shorter, and I'm just going to do a bunch of different strings. So I would say in total I'm going to use about 40 strings for my big ring, but if you have like a smaller ring, because you don't just need the wooden ring, you could use a bunch of different types of things. If you have a smaller ring, you could use less string. Just kind of guesstimate it and keep working at it and see what would look the most beautiful. Next, you're just going to cut some of your paper in half like this. And you can use any kind of paper you like. If you want pattern paper or you want to use magazines, it's up to you, whatever you'd like to do. And you're just going to slip the paper under the yellow bar and you're going to cut out a bunch of circles from my image button maker. So circles just like that. And then just keep going until you think you have enough, but really I didn't have any idea how, my, how many I needed for my project. I just kept making them and then if I ran out I made some more. And then when you think you have enough you can just set my image button maker to the side and you're going to take out your hole puncher and you're just going to punch holes in the bottom and then the other side, just like that, right across from each other. And you're going to do that to every single one. Next, you're going to tie a knot, just like this, at the bottom of one of your strings. And tie it like three or four times so that it's a big knot. And then you are going to slip on your circles with the holes punched in them. And you're going to repeat that process for every single string that you plan to use on your mobile. So just do it over and over again. And this is the longest part of the project. It kind of takes a while, but it's worth it in the end because it looks super pretty. And we'll just do that over and over again. And I kind of left a little tiny space in there, but not too much.
Now that I've got all of my strings done, I am just going to put them one by one on this ring. And if you want, you can spray paint this ring or you can cover it with yarn. It's up to you. I'm actually going to probably end up spray painting this one. And you are going to tie your strings to the edges and repeat it over and over again until it's full. So, so far it's going to look like this. Looks really cool. And then I'm just going to continue the process over and over again. And then to do the middle section, I'm just going to wrap strings across all the way. And I'm going to dangle shorter ones on the inside. And it's going to look super pretty. And I'll let you know how it looks in just a minute. I think that this looks super beautiful hanging from my ceiling in my creative room. I love it so much. I can't believe how awesome it turned out. And you can do different colors and different sizes and lengths, whatever you would like to do. This would be a really pretty chandelier for above your bed. And you could just put different pictures of you and your friends on it. And then make one for your BFF and it'll look so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the craft we made today. If you love crafting as much as we do, make sure you check out all of our Choose Friendship products. And to enter to win the ultimate craft prize valued over $300, just follow this link below. We wish you a very happy holiday season and always choose friendship.